Hey guys, I'm Eden. Today I'm going to talk about gear and config. I'm going to start out by explaining how you can find the perfect gear for you. I'm going to look into mouse pads first. When, when you choose your own mouse pad, it should be the perfect glide so you can make really fast movements and stop at a millisecond. And the size is so important as well because if you if enemy comes further to your right, when you already have dragged your mouse to the right, you, you will run out the mouse pad space if you have a small mouse pad. And if you have a big one, you will kill him and win the game for you instead of losing it. So that's really important. When it comes down to choosing your keyboard, what I'm looking for there is the feeling in it, so the buttons feel really good. And also, it's the response in time. It has to be the fastest keyboard available. When it comes down to mouse, what I'm looking for is the feeling in it, so, so the feeling in my hand feels good. And also the optics on it has to be ultra fast. When it comes down to headset, don't underestimate the headset. I know a lot of people are saying, hey, I don't need to invest so much money in a headset. I, I would rather spend it on a mouse pad or mouse. It might be true, but don't underestimate the headset. It's really important. I, I can count the games I've won because of the headset I've used on my hands. It, it's a lot of games won because I've heard those extra footsteps or those extra shots and everything and know where the enemy will show up. So what I'm looking for in a headset is the in-game sound and the feeling so it feels comfortable and the microphone on it so my teammates can hear exactly what I'm saying. And now I'm going to explain to you how I'm setting up in-game and how you can shoot the best in-game settings for you with resolution and everything. So let's go. When I'm setting up my game, the resolution I use in Counter-Strike is 640 and the crosshair size is large. I know that most top players today use it as well. And I think that the reason that I used it and a lot of top players use it nowadays is because of the feeling, the in-game feeling. It feels like you're closer to the game when you use it. The first thing I do when setting up my Counter-Strike is to write in the launch options in Counter-Strike and Steam those commands. No Force MP Arms and No Force M Axle. Those commands, who you can see next to you in this video here, removes the mouse accelerations. And you cannot play with mouse acceleration. No good player has ever done it, and I don't think anybody would ever will. So remove it instantly if you use it. And the other things I'm setting up is then my key bindings. What I'm using in key binds, except for original, is that I'm jumping on F, ducking on space, and I have unbounded the mouse to bottom to E, instead, so I only have mouse one attack on the mouse. I think it helps my game to improve a lot, actually, because I'm not focusing about pushing the mouse so much, just doing everything on the keyboard, except moving the crosshair and shooting, and I think you all should try it out. It helps a lot. For mouse sensitivity, here, I use 2.0. I think it's pretty much the perfect sense, because it's not too fast, but not too slow either, so I can make really fast movements, and I can also do really small movements on long distance when people are moving. So that is my setup. And if you want to download my config, you can do it just in the link here next to the video. And I hope you can all find your perfect settings in gear. And good luck to you all.